Hey everybody, it's Eddie here and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the Crypto.com Earn Rewards Program. I'll leave all the links and resources that I talk about in this video in the description box below, but I created a video on how to create passive income through cryptocurrency and ever since that video, I've received hundreds of comments and messages and emails about how the program works and any confusions and questions about it. So in this video, I'll try to cover everything that I know, everything you should know and any confusion that you may have. If you guys are unfamiliar with crypto Crypto.com. It's an exchange where you can buy and sell cryptocurrency. And at the moment, it's personally one of my favorite ones to use just because of the Visa card option that they have. But besides that, I just like the experience of using the app as a whole. And within the app, there's an option where you can earn rewards through your cryptocurrency. In other words, passive income. At the moment, I do have an Indigo Blue card where I can earn 6.5% on my Bitcoin and 5.5% on my Ethereum. And I can also earn up to 12% on my USDC. When you do stake your cryptocurrency, you do have the three month, one month and flexible option. And the longer you stake it, the more reward you receive. So right now we're gonna go into the app so I can show you guys the entire layout, the process, the terms and everything you need to know. Once you're inside the app, you want to click the bottom center button and then you're going to click earn. So I have about $67,000 staked and I've earned a total of $1,113 and I do a three month term on majority of them. And you can lock up as many as you want in however many portions. So for example, if you own one whole Bitcoin, you can stake 0.3 Bitcoin, 0.3 Bitcoin and 0.3 Bitcoin, but in different times. First, we're going to click the top right button, the plus sign to choose which cryptocurrency we want to stake. I can click Bitcoin. Flexible pretty much means I can put it in there and pull it out any time that I like, but in return, I do get a 2% annual return. One month is a 4.5% and three month is 6.5%. The PA means per annum, meaning that I earn 6.5% for the entire year. So if I lock it up for three months, then I have to get 6.5 divided by 12 equals around 0.54% every single month. And within that entire three month period, I earned a total of 1.6%. It can definitely be confusing because you can think that you're earning that much amount within that lockup period, but it's the entire year. So once you choose the option, you press continue. You check all three. If you want to go over the details, I do recommend reading through the terms. But in summary, it just means, hey, you're staking your crypto. Just know what you're getting yourself into. Make sure you're eligible. Crypto.com will use your funds however they want to. And on top of that, uh, you are responsible for your taxes. And I will share a little bit more about that. Second box is basically saying, hey, if you're locking it up for one month or three months, you can't withdraw it regardless of your situation. It is locked and it's going to stay that way. So if you do choose to lock it up, look one month, three months out to make sure that you don't need your funds in the near future. Now, the third part can sound a bit confusing. I understand and agree that crypto.com may hold or convert their principles into other cryptocurrencies for our investment purposes during the term of deposit. There are different platforms where you can earn interest on your cryptocurrency like crypto.com. And basically a lot of these companies act like our traditional banks, but cryptocurrency banks. They might stake your cryptocurrency, which is a less intensive way of mining. You're helping the blockchain network and you get rewarded for that. Second, just like how we go to banks and pull out loans and we pay an interest on those loans, they lend out cryptocurrency to these large institutions and receive interest from them. They pay us majority of it and they keep a portion of that and that's part of their business model. And they may even use your funds to purchase real world assets that appreciate in value, such as real estate, and use some of those earnings to pay us back. I think this is where a lot of people, you know, come out and say crypto.com's a scam. Like, how is this possible? Like the money part, like the free money part, interest rate percentage rate doesn't make any sense. I completely understand, but this is pretty much how our banks make money. Last quarter's earning, Chase Bank made almost $30 billion. Where do you think that 30 billion came from, right? It's usually from credit card fee, interest rates, from our savings account. They use the money in our savings account and lend it out. And so this is how we are able to earn interest through our cryptocurrency through these platforms. Now, because these platforms aren't really banks, they are not FDIC insured. So if these companies for some reason went bankrupt and lost all of our money, we will not be covered for that. So it, there is some risk involved, which is why there are a ton of different platforms and choices out there. And it's your job to do your due diligence and research to choose the one that you trust. In this case, I do trust crypto.com, 
BlockFi, and Celsius, and I use all three of them. Majority of my funds are crypto.com, and I will eventually create a video on the other two. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification, so you're notified when I do upload a new video. So we're gonna press continue, and then you can decide how much Bitcoin you want to stake, but at the moment I have zero because all of them are staked and being put to work. Because if I have the option of putting my money to work and not to work, I'm gonna choose to put it to work. And after you stake it, you're gonna see it in this crypto earn list. So so I have a three month term that ends in 21 days, another three month term that ends in 50 days, and another Bitcoin earn that ends in 75 days. I do like to divide them up so that I do have access to a portion of my Bitcoin every single month in case I want to buy other altcoins or if I want to restake them, I'll just restake them again. And then I have some Ethereum locked up as well. So we're going to look at the top one because it's going to end in 21 days. It has the most amount of history. So I staked this back in December 10th and ever since then I've been paid out Bitcoin every single week. What I like about crypto.com is it tells you the dollar amount so it gives you an idea of how much it was when you staked it, how much you get paid out and where the current value is at. So one of the questions I received was, hey, does your Bitcoin still appreciate with the market? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to click on crypto earn deposit. And when I deposit 0.47098 Bitcoin, Bitcoin was sitting at $18,238 at the time, which is a total of $7,789. So I staked this amount. And now because Bitcoin is sitting above 50K, my 7.7 thousand is now at 21,000. 7, 14, 21. That's almost a 3x. That's that's insane. Now, when you get paid out every single week, you don't get paid out in dollars. Instead, you get paid out in Bitcoin. So 6.5% of 0.427 Bitcoin equals to 0.027 Bitcoin every single month. On December 16th, the amount that I got paid out was worth $11.22 and Bitcoin was sitting around $21,000. And of course, as we know, since December, Bitcoin's price has gone up. So my most recent payment, which is the same amount of Bitcoin, one Bitcoin was worth $44,000 and that's equivalent to $23 paid out that week. Once it comes into your wallet, you can either just hold it or once you've accumulated enough Bitcoin, you can create a new stake. Or if you have the Visa card, you can load it up and spend it. Now, a lot of people have asked about taxes. Do I have to pay taxes on the passive income that I receive? The answer is yes. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, nor can I give tax advice. So make sure you do your own research, due diligence before you do this whole next part or consult with the financial advisor. But I can share what I will be doing and I hope that it can help you give a better idea of how to navigate through this. First, you're gonna to go to the account section. Then on the top right corner, there is a kind of time with a money sign. You're gonna click on that. And then your transaction history is gonna show up and you're gonna click on the top right box with the arrow up. Since we're in 2021, we're trying to get 2020 statement. So we're gonna to go to from January 1st, 2020. We're gonna to go to 2020, December 31st. So that covers the entire 2020. You're gonna click export to CSV. Once it, it's gonna say generating. Awesome, and then you're gonna be able to download it. Then from here, you're able to text it to yourself, email it to yourself, airdrop it to your computer, whichever you're comfortable with. And then you're gonna get an Excel sheet with all your transactions that you ever made with crypto.com. Then I will be personally using cryptotrader.tax. I'm gonna grab the file that I received, import it into the website. They're gonna run all the numbers, and then I'm gonna get that form and I'm gonna give it to my accountant who does all my taxes. That is what I will be doing and I will end it there. I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested in checking that out. From my understanding, I believe that crypto.com is extremely backed up and in my other videos I do talk about the Visa card and I know the pro token has gone up a ton and so now getting those cards are a bit more expensive if you guys bought around the six to seven cents range congratulations you are now in profit but if you bought at the top I completely understand because that's exactly what I did I bought at the top but the indigo blue card at the time was were only worth 10,000 CRO tokens so it was a lot cheaper. And I know a lot of people who bought at the top call crypto.com a scam and like how they stole our money, but that really isn't the case. I think people have to understand when you are investing into the crypto space, there's a lot of volatility involved and volatility and risk is completely different. Like Tesla stock is very volatile, but that doesn't mean that it's a risky investment. Just because Bitcoin went from 20K all the way down to five, 4K doesn't mean it's a scam. It is now at 50K. So if you bought at 20K and you just held through the three year bear market, then you should be 
in profit today. In that same way, I do personally believe that the Crow token will increase in value over time. And that's because I believe in the company, I believe in the project, and I love what they're doing. I know they're still young, but I know that they will continue to do their best to improve. A lot of people who are entering into the space discover either Coinbase, Gemini, or Crypto.com. And I think Crypto.com's brand in itself is really strong. So if you guys believe in the company and the project, then definitely consider their Visa card, but you do have to stake their native token, which is around 5,000 CRO tokens for their Ruby red card. But I do also wanna mention that the Visa card is not for everybody. I think if you're just entering into the crypto space and you only have around $500 to spend, buy Bitcoin first. Because if the CRO token makes up the majority of your portfolio, then I think it's not a smart investment to go that route. I personally believe that the majority of your portfolio should be with Bitcoin. Like the amount of CRO tokens that I have staked right now is only about 1% of my portfolio. So if that 1% disappears, I'm gonna be okay. But for those of you that have it as like 90% of your portfolio, then I do encourage you to step back and consider dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin first before you consider the crypto.com Visa card. I personally have the Visa card, I do use it. I like earning 3% rewards on it. I get Spotify and Netflix reimbursements, which has been really nice. But again, if like 500 to thousand dollars seems like a lot of money to you guys, then I do want to also encourage you guys not to invest at all. I love investing. I encourage people to invest, but investing into yourself is a greater priority than into the stock market or Bitcoin. Yes, you can invest a thousand dollars, make a couple percentage gains here, but if you can invest that thousand dollars into your education first, it's gonna help you generate more cash flow later on in the future. Anyway, hope you guys understand the crypto.com earn platform just a little bit more than you did before you came into this video. Again, all the links and resources that I talk about in this video, along with the passive income strategy that I have with cryptocurrency will be in the description box below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification for future uploads, and I'll see you guys in the next video over. Good night, good morning, adios.